All right, so I'm a little bit more comfortable here on Kita. Is her name Kita? A little bit more comfortable on this character, I think. And also, I like this brighter stage. This is a really nice stage. A lot of the stages I've been playing lately have been really dark and spooky. But I want something a little more bright. I can't wait for the the snowy map to come in, like Christmas maps. Oh, I think that's like around when I stopped playing last year. I think it was like right before the snowy maps came in and I'm so sad because I love like I don't particularly actually like, you know, uh, Christmas or the holidays or anything like that. But I love the like in-game events that take advantage of the of the theme. They're all they're always so really good, uh, really good. They're always so really good, <laughs> right? That's going to be exciting to look out for. RuneScape does some uh, some things too, and like I'm sure Hearthstone and all the other games that I play are going to do some kind of event. It's, it's fun time, it's good stuff. So warped arrow, curving arrow. Once I don't finish, so that's like the toll run guy from last time. And also, just keep, of note, I didn't actually move forward because I know I'm playing a very squishy character this time around. So you got the shield, 30, 30 shields to allies. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on. Uh, to allies and weakened enemies. Oh, geez, he's gonna be right on top of me. This is not good. Mark an enemy to the uh, first time. I was healed for 20. Okay. Dash the location from the opposite direction. Okay. I'm kind of getting left behind here a little bit. Um, so I'll just attack him and then get away. I don't want to use my dash just yet. Actually, I should have gone back into the left or back into the right instead of going towards Zuki. Zuki is probably planning on getting out of here. There's a pretty good, pretty strong chance that I'm actually 100% going to have to dash next turn because these two guys are going to collapse over here as, long, uh, as well as him over here into this, this left side. So this is kind of bad. Maybe it'll work out. So there's the melee hit. I was totally expecting it. We're going to hopefully get two hits back on him, though, with Lockwood and me, which I think is somewhat worth it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dash out of this. So I go over here. So this is where I pick my d direction of my dash, right? So I'll do something like this, and then I- Okay, yeah, and then I aim this way. All right. Okay. Just want to make sure I aim that correctly. And then my ult is... Uh, rain arrows down in a line, dealing 20 direct damage to enemies and rooting them to choose two points within range to create a line of effect. So sharp, you uh, I wish you could, like, turn yes. off taunt. Can it, that could be really annoying when I'm just trying to read my damn abilities. Dodge. Choose two points within the range to create it does not require line of sight. Ignore his cover. Okay, I, that's kind of complicated, so we'll see how it goes. So she's kind of like a support firepower almost. So he's still chasing me, but that's fine. He actually expected the dash, which is interesting. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Because, like, Titus is doing the only thing he really needs to do, and that's just disrupting me. And I can't get the damage that I need to get on the squishier target or support my allies because he's just going to be on top of me and like slowing me down and stop uh, blocking my attacks. As well as getting constant damage down. Now there's something to be said about him not uh, doing the opposite for his own teammates, but I don't, think that's, I don't think that's something he really needs to worry about. Got some good hits off there from Suki. He's going to continue hitting me for 30 damage a turn. Oh, uh, he did another 25 damage, and I got hit by Lockwood. Shoot. That is bad. Do I just die on turn 6 because I can't get away from this freaking Titus? Why isn't Why is anyone attacking Zuki? Why is it just me? Ah, uh, I had to pretty much just warp out of here. This, oh, that's so unfortunate. Like, why is it that whenever I do the same thing, I can never get these kind of results? I think it's just because he, like, he, instead of attacking me on that one turn before I dashed. What did he just do there? 
Oh, and Blackburn's here too. No. Oh, did he try and dash on top of me or something? Dude. Was he really expecting that to work? <laughs> this is a disaster. I have no more dashes either, so I'm just gonna 100% die here. The best I can do is like something like this, I think. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Hopefully, like, they don't, no, no, no one here dashes. No, he still has his dash. Which means I actually should not have put uh, my healer thing on him. He's just gonna get out of there. Uh, assuming he doesn't actually have any cover to go to. I don't know. Okay, this is the big moment. If he can hit, didn't even hit that far one over there. What? And Lockwood's over here too? <laughs> Man, I wish I had my ult here. That'd be great. Just under it though. Wait, did nobody dash out of there? Oh wow. Wow, good stuff, man. Good stuff. I die, but that's okay. They got a lot of, a ton of return damage down for it. I don't know why they all grouped up so closely in that little area. Bit of a mistake. Okay. My damage is at 66 right now, and Zuki's at 360, and I died. How sad is that? Oh man, that makes me want to cry, because like, I don't, like, I'm not good enough at this game to really know what I did wrong. That's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Maybe I should go to Gamer Sensei. Oh wait, Gamer Sensei doesn't have Atlas Reactor. Maybe they should. Maybe I can play this game for like 10 hours a day for the next month and then become a coach on Gamer Sensei for Atlas Reactor. I don't, I don't think they're going to do that though. At least not anytime soon. Atlas Reactor has been out for a long time. They probably would have done it. Uh, before then, if they wanted to. My luck's run out. Now that I kind of mentioned, that, I also kind of wanted to play League of Legends. <laughs> but I'm not thinking about like expansion, like of the content on the channel, like going into examining the tactics behind particular, uh, behind games that you necessarily wouldn't, or just examining the tactics behind certain games. It would give me a good, it would give me a good excuse to play like five hours of League of Legends. Although I feel like there's like I can, there's like nothing for me to contribute there. Like League of Legends content is so and like massively oversaturated on YouTube that I feel like I'm just like a, not even a drop in the pocket when it comes to producing content for that for that game. I mean, like, what could I possibly say that hasn't already been, like, covered a million times? Yeah, the League of Legends is out. I can't do League of Legends. It's far too saturated. I mean, like, again, it's not like I'm doing it specifically for views or anything like that. But, like, I just feel like it'd be a waste of time. Because someone else has probably already done it. I don't want to just repeat content that other people have done already. That's boring. I don't think I'd have much of a unique spin on it either. Uh, either. What is the situation? Why am I surrounded by four people? Gosh. I'll do something like that and then just get out of here. I'll make you to use this. Oh, I did it again. I'm going to have to use my stupid time bank. To keep pressing six when I mean to press eight because I'm an idiot. All right, this should be fine. I can't believe I've already used one time bank. I don't remember that first one happening. Don't overdo it. Maybe I should just play. Look, he predicted my dash again. Or maybe he didn't necessarily predict my dash, but didn't have anything else to, uh, to do. Yeah. <laughs> Four dodged attacks, or three dodged attacks. Good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go for my ult here, and then I'm going to die immediately after, or something like that. Okay, so I, I go for this. And then I do something like that. Okay, that makes sense. 
And I'll do this on Lockwood. No, not Lockwood, not Lockwood. I'll do it on Titus. Or Dr. Finn, Dr. Finn. I can still move after that? Nice. Okay, but I'm like 95% dead, I think. Uh, mostly because of that Titus thing that you put on me. That Titus uh, dagger. Man, this Titus is just annihilating me, isn't he? He's not even like technically doing all that well, but he's like just the non quantifiable amount of like disruption that he's applying is just making me lose. I don't even have a warp out of here either, so I'm just what like what do I even do? If I do this, I give myself a little bit of shields, but I don't think it even matters. Like, okay, so like I put my sh I get the shield, right? I get 30 shields, but what does that do? That does nothing. I just lose. I can't believe- I'm gonna die twice? I'm gonna die freaking twice, man. Ah. So sad. There's no way they don't do 55 damage though, right? There's even Lockwood over there who's gonna maybe ult in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just 100% dead. And you got three people. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I'm just playing, like, such garbage. And, like, the only reason we're even staying, like, remotely in it is because my team is picking up on, uh,. Is like being able to get such like large amounts of damage and whenever they group up. It's like I'm like this bait. I'm like this bait that they're just like taking advantage of. Like Zuki, like take a look at Zuki. She's taking 59 freaking damage. I'm over here at 362. Literally more than everyone else on our team. Almost. Almost combined more damage than everyone else on my team. I'm t I've taken more damage than their freaking Lockwood and their tank. Oh, so sad. I'm so bad. And I've done like no damage. Oh man. Stand together, fall together. Oh, I've missed this. <laughs> like I don't get it. Like Zuki's the higher she's the more priority threat, right? So why isn't Titus ever going after her? And look, he hasn't died once. And he's done 227 damage, taking 245 damage. He's playing, like, effectively perfectly, right? Ah, jeez. So sad. Yeah, and like, like, see, thankfully, my team was really, really good. Both Lockwood and Zuki are getting off incredible amount, and the cat thing are getting off incredible amounts of damage whenever they find them grouped up. <laughs> this is so stupid. Five turns remaining. He has his dash, right? Yeah, he has his dash. I don't know. I can't even really do anything here. Maybe I try and go back to the back side and try and kill little Dr. Finn. Yeah, he went for he's dashing away. Interesting. I think through no uh, <laughs> through no help of my own, we're actually gonna win this here pretty pretty soon. Because we only need to kill Doctor Finn in this next turn. He has nothing left, so he's hundred percent dead. I don't even need to do anything. We just win. Yeah, this is weird. Like, this character is like, it's not at all firepower. Or it, it's like, it's like 40% firepower and 60% support. It's really interesting. I feel like a, almost like a Dr. Finn, but with like a bow instead of a medic gun or whatever. And again, like every time that flipping dagger comes off cooldown from Titus, I'm getting hit with it. Why does Titus hate me so much? I'm not even like, I'm obviously not very good. 
I'm obviously not doing much for my team, and yet I'm the one who's getting picked on the most. I don't get it. <laughs> well, we win, so that a win for my team is a win for me. <laughs> you win. Oh, yikes. Never gets old. Oh no. It's the same map. The same map that I just got annihilated on. Alright, I'm just gonna stick in the- I'm not going- I'm gonna stick in the back. Oops. I'm not gonna go anywhere near that front line. I'm not gonna focus on attacking or anything silly like that. I'm a support ass support man. Supporting supporting the game. I don't have anything past that. <laughs> That's it. I'll do something like this. Uh, should I move forward? You only YOLO want wise words from Infoc. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment comes for you. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going a little bit too far into the danger zone. Oh, I'm I'm in it, man. <laughs> I'm in it. Okay, I'm just gonna back out of here. Like right, right here. Although she's probably gonna dash out of there. Oh, I can do something like this. I'd rather get the guaranteed damage off, even if it's not very much. It kind of sucks that I have to use my dash so early, but I'll see what I can do. I see what I can do. Karmic justice. Yep, there's the dash. She actually went to the same place, so if I did actually go for the aim on her, I would have hit her. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. All these people are aiming at nothing. Hitting nothing. <laughs> What what is going on here, man? It's like everyone's blind. Out of like the six or seven attacks that went off, mine's like mine and the other Asana. It's the only ones that hit, and then they're going away from me for no damn reason. Why are they? For why are my team, my allies, my friends? They've forsaken me. Leaving me to deal with this asana alone. Damn Yankees, what are they doing? My blade. Prepare to be impressed. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Okay, no, they didn't forsake me. I spoke too soon. I kind of figured our luck would try and hit the uh, opposing lock with, but I guess not. She's gonna follow me, isn't she? She didn't follow me. She didn't put in a movie command. What? What? Why? I guess I'll just hit you again. I mean, I don't really know what to do here except to. Why didn't it go? <laughs> I hit the space bar once and it didn't do anything. I used up my time bank. Come on, man. Come on, Atlas Reactor. Get with it. Accept your faith. Oh, great. I'm rooted. I don't understand why like they're focusing so damn hard on this lock, but when we have this Austin right here that's about to die. If we can get rid of the Asana, that won't get snowballed at advantage from getting the other two people. Now I have to deal with her all on my lonesome. Not even worth doing. Maybe it is. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that she goes for the, the, the warp over the wall. But in case she doesn't, I'm going to punish her pretty hard for it. <laughs> Avenge me. Oh, she's going for the might. She's going to try and attack me. Yeah, she wants the attack. The might, the mighted up attack. That was a beautiful Asana attack. Oof, good stuff. 
Oh, I'm okay here. I'll just one on one of this Austin over here. No problem. Don't worry about it, team. I got it. We're good. Can't do that. Uh, just use my heal here and go like right here. Not much for me to really do. I almost feel like maybe I'm just being a little bit insulting, but I feel like in my previous couple of games, like I was match made with people who are way more skilled than I was. And then the matchmaker was like, oh wait, this guy sucks. And then they put, <laughs> they put me in this like low, uh, low, uh, low, let's say low playtime queue. <laughs> um, yeah, these like these, these tags don't seem like particularly high playtime players. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm gonna dash all the way over somewhere, somewhere else. Like way over here. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, almost a waste of two turns, but I need to get away from those two people that are spawning in. And I'm just kind of waiting on this heal and to get a better positioning anyway. And I'm like, my character isn't focused on attacking every turn like someone like a Lockwood or Blackburn is, so I don't, I'm not feeling too bad for this running away for now. <laughs> Austin returns. It's time to fight Asuna once again. She's probably gonna do some BS where she like dashes right over here and I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna waste my attack, but we'll see how it works. We'll see how it happens. On a unrelated note, I'm drinking some Pepsi, some diet Pepsi. And man, does this drink suck? How do people drink Pepsi, man? Watch your step. Like when you have like diet Dr. Pepper and like Diet Coke. Or, you know, their high calorie kind of parts. Why would you ever pick Pepsi? <laughs> I don't get it. It tastes like bubble gum. It's gross. <laughs> Austin, please. Why, like, why do these, like, disruption tanks? Why are they so in love with me? Just get away from me. I can't accept your feelings, Asuna. Like, last game it was Titus, this time it's Asuna. Next game is gonna be like a freaking Tolren or Kaigen. There's gonna be someone who just, like, will spend the entire game just disrupting me. Even though I'm not even freaking, I'm not even like a Zuki. If I was a Zuki or something like that, I could kind of understand, but I'm a freaking. Oh, I got hit by that sniper shot. I'm, I'm a freaking support, like, like, ha like quarter DPSer. Why am I getting so much attention? All right, so I'll go for the heal on her once again, but she has her ult. So I'm not even gonna deal with her. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm just gonna warp out of here. I don't feel like I have any good options to attack. And also, I feel like both Lockwood and Austin are both gonna dash, so I don't even wanna try and aim towards it. Looks like she's gonna go in on Lockwood, try and help him out. Makes sense. Let me show you. Oh, the, uh, Lockwood didn't dash. He has two dashes and he didn't use either of them. And he went for a letter rip that completely missed. Rip. Alright, so now it's ulting time. Right there to oh. like right there. Uh, and I'll use this on, I guess, just Lockwood. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last turn, so it doesn't really matter what I do. I still only did 144 damage. Man, what is with that? Like, relative to, like, everyone else, it's not it's not that bad, but, like, I, 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 I don't want to be just not that bad, you know? Ouch, I hit that lock one. Damn it, on the one turn, I didn't think he was going to dash. He goes for the dash. On the turn that I thought I was gonna dash, it doesn't go for the dash. Your blood, my sword. Oh, well, they actually might get like a triple kill in this turn. Oh, this is. Oh no. This is bad. This is legit bad. And then. 
Okay, there's no healing over here, so maybe if I have one more guaranteed action, I can kill Lockwood. But this is really bad. They're gonna get four kills here. If they if they wipe us, if they get four kills here, we'll lose in a single turn. We'll go from they'll go from one to five. I want to see it. Go for it. Oh, you have to wait until that GD cools down. That's silly. Uh, okay, now they're not gonna kill all four of us, but it's gonna be damn close. They're gonna kill like three of us. No, they double teleported out. So never mind. So I'm gonna die. <laughs> Safety. Okay, so the ult missed. I'm gonna die to Lockwood. You know, if I had known his position, I would have gone for targeting him instead. But I didn't know where he was. I didn't know exactly where he was. And I'd rather go for the shields to try and save my teammates as opposed to do anything else. I didn't actually expect them to double TP out like that. But I guess that's the best course of action considering. Okay, so Lockwood's right here. I can kill him next turn, I think. Oh, I know. I still have like one. Like, I have two turns where I can't do anything, I think. Oh no. This is looking surprisingly rough. Uh, so I'll just like position right here and try and catch him on the. But he has two. He still has two more dashes. It's two turns where we're not going to be able to even touch him. No, we were so close to ending on like turn 13 and now we're gonna go up to like turn 20 trying to chase this damn Lockwood down. But to assume if we don't actually lose before then. Okay, no, never mind. He got it. Why? He has two dashes and he didn't use a single one of them? What is he thinking? Ugh, whatever. What a silly game. Atlas Reactor is a really silly, silly game. Oh boy, talk about diversity and map selection. Playing on this, on this, on this map for the, for the third time in a row. Alright. Uh, it's not that I dislike this map. After all, this is one of the first maps you play when you start Atlas Reactor back in the day. It was one of the few maps they had. Why well, when you play when you play in that small entrance chest? It gets a little old. Alright, so I'll re reveal everything back here. I'll try and go for a hit on what's his face, but I don't think it'll hit him. Oh, I love this curved arrow though, I gotta tell ya. Oh, I should do it the other way. I'll do something like no, I can't even do it the other way. I'm stupid. I'm wasting time. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was trying to figure out where I wanted to to, to walk to. I just I couldn't come up with anything good. Wow! At least I'm not gonna get my damage uh, reduced by cover. I'll hit Phaedra for full. The good thing I didn't walk any further forward. That would have been really bad. I would have had to use a dash to get out of that. No, I don't. I mean, I sort of don't. All right, so I'll do this, and then I'll shield, maybe? Can I not shield? Mm, that's not really good enough. So I'll just hit Phaedra instead. I can't really tell exactly, but I feel like Atlas Reactor is really lagging for me. Every time I like, I, my actions aren't being input like at the, in the way that I feel that it should be. I don't know. It seems like I'm pressing the buttons, but it's not its not reacting immediately as I would expect. And it's kind of frustrating a little bit. And Brienne's taking a lot of damage over there. Bryn, whatever. Alright, so I can get another good hit off, off on her. I could potentially even do something like this to give Bryn some more shields. I think I'm gonna do that. I just need her to not like try and dash out of the way. What is that? Is that a dash? I'm not gonna freaking. 
Ah, uh, that's annoying. I was hoping she wasn't gonna dash there, but I guess that makes sense. After all, like... Back into the after all, nothing I'm gonna do is really gonna help there. Yeah, she just asked fully out of the way. He's taking a little bit too much damage there on the left side. Not really getting much for it. Ah, what? That hit me? Come on now. This may actually be an opportunity where I dash. Or I just heal and move away. Heal and move away where? Maybe like right there. I guess that's good enough. Because I don't really have any good targets because I can't really see anybody. And also I don't necessarily want to dash anywhere. Because I don't feel like I'm under too big a threat of damage. But I still want to try and move out of this situation. Get to a safer area. So that's Lockwood's action. I feel like Phaedra's going to go for an attack on me here. Unfortunately. Oh no, he did. He wait. So she, she might it up just to hit Bryn. <laughs> Those curved arrows, man. This is like it's like from the movie Wanted. If anyone's ever watched that movie, it was a really good one. I think it had like it was like Angelina Jolie, Chris Pat, Chris Pratt was in it for a little bit. I think uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Really nice movie. About <laughs> it's like almost kind of like the Matrix and some other influences. Uh, I'm not really sure where to hit here. Maybe just something like this, and then move forward a little bit. Did she did she die and come back or did she really heal up that much? I've been saving this bullet just for you. Ah oh, man, we just have like no freaking vision of anyone. We have literally no vision of everyone anyone on the map. Maybe I should do something like this. Give myself some shields and then back up again. Uh, this is this is I don't think this is very good. I think by turtling like this, we're not actually helping our case, even though we have a bit of more of a defensive oriented team composition. Yeah, and, like stuff like that will happen. Like Phaedra will just dash all the way in and deal damage to the whole back line all at once, and just be a nuisance while the the rest of their back line catches up and deals damage from afar. Whereas we don't really have a disruption tank anymore because Burn's about to die. Ah. That's why I didn't go back there because I knew something like that would happen. And now we're like, we're collapsed on. We just don't really, we don't have like the damage output to do anything. This is looking pretty bleak. This is looking pretty bleak. So he's gonna TP out. It's, he's gonna be a turn behind. He's going over to the right, which is not as good since we're uh, we're drifting to the left side over here. And like, we, it's not even like we can get a kill on like on uh, on Nyx or anything like that, or even Phaedra. We we have like no momentum at all. Whereas we're on the run and we're splintered and we just have no damage. The toll for walking this road is your head. Although, I, I'm not saying, like, I'm not at fault either. I'm not saying that. Uh, like, a couple of turns ago, I made the mistake of going too far away from the combat and not, like, positioning myself in a way that could take advantage of getting some attack or supports off. And instead, I just went for less optimal plays because I thought, uh, it like, the that little skirmish that, we'd have, that we had would have gone on longer, but it definitely didn't. And then I just got punished for, like, not committing. I will be vindicated! Brace yourself.
It's like I didn't overcommit and I didn't undercommit, and then I got punished for both sides of that coin. Although, if Nyx is putting off an ult, and then I'm putting off an ult, that could be pretty big. That could be pretty nice. Assuming no dashes. No dashes, that's gonna be a really big double ult here. Oh. <laughs> Nyx might die though. Yeah, he's 100% dead. I did like nothing compared to what Nyx did. They did like half the damage. It was bad. I didn't move either. That was a mistake. Uh, so I'll do something like this and then attack forward. Try and hit her. But this is like not so got not so great. Huh, no dash, no ult. Am I gonna kill it here? Or did I already dash? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I already did my damage, unfortunately. So maybe I just go for shields here and then try and move over to the left a little bit. I feel like I need to play a little bit more aggressively if I actually want to come back here. Or if we want to come back, rather. At least I'm doing a lot better than before. My healing and he uh, damage and damage received are all a lot better than before. This is a nice character. I really like this character. It's just really tricky. Because you have to like really effectively, efficiently ba uh, balance so many different um, trains of thought. Cause you're not just you're not going for just damage or just uh, healing or just support. You're kind of mixing all of them. Yeah, so I'll get the guaranteed damage on Nyx. He's probably gonna fire towards me. And then Lockwood's going to fire towards me as well. He's going to ult over and hit to the middle to try and catch both me and Bryn. <laughs> There's the might. So I'm like 100% dead here, right? No, wow. Nyx is not going for the ult. He's going for trying to catch people moving towards him. <laughs> and he goes for the laser as well. <laughs> Thankfully, I had the cover there to block like half that damage. Yeah, if I don't, if I didn't have that cover there, I probably would have died. That's good stuff. All right. Uh, so he has double dash. She has ult, which I believe is also a dash. Maybe I'll just hit her. Maybe. Do this. Do this. And then maybe back off a little bit. I don't know. I may die here from Phaedra. I don't really know what she's up to. I don't really know her abilities all that well. Fade into the crowd. Time to go to plan. B. You're mine now. <laughs> nice taunt. Don't you talk free, Lance. Get lost. Okay, nice. I get a bit of a heal back. It's good. I probably have two more guaranteed actions at least, I think. Or maybe just one. Yeah, just one more guaranteed action, looks like. No matter where you go, I'll oh. That was a big ult from Nyx. Didn't even see that one coming. Literally, I didn't see him. Wait, his, his ult goes through walls? What? That's bonkers. 
Or was he there the whole time? No, he just moved there. I think. Alright, so I have an option of either... I'm just going to go for the, the attack and then die. I think. Oh, come on. It doesn't reach Nyx? How does it not reach Nyx? How does that not reach Nyx? What? The, the cursor was right on top of him. I hope I at least got the attack off. At the very least, because I'm 100% dead here. I don't feel like there's any, there's really any worth in trying to use the warp because I'm gonna warp and then I'm just gonna die anyway, no matter what I do. Oh wow, Nick, were they expecting me to warp there? And then I don't warp and they don't kill me? Oh no, the sky is falling! Nope. <laughs> now you've really pissed. Still not doing great, but I'm proven. Bit by bit, I think. I'm trying to think about like what what would be a better game plan than what I'm doing right now. Maybe I'm just not getting into the mindset that this character needs to be played and I'm just getting punished relentlessly for it. I think this character is really interesting. I feel like there's a lot of carry potential with this character because they can put off a, a fair amount of damage, have some good dash options, some good damage options, some good support options. It just feels like a character that is like a like a trinity a trinity force is uh a uh, triple threat. That's the what. That's what it feels like. This character is a triple threat, and if you can use it effectively, you can do really, really well in solo queue. But if you're not, then you're just gonna fail spectacularly. You're not. You're gonna do instead of doing one thing really well, like Blackburn or Lockwood. Uh, you're just gonna do three things poorly instead. I think that's kind of the case with this character, but it's interesting. Whew. <sighs> that's it for the day. Almost two hours of playing some Atlas Reactor, which it isn't much, especially compared to what like streamers do, of course. But as someone who hasn't been doing long form commentary for a while, it's pretty tiring. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Next time, right? We need to figure out what we're gonna do next time. Can't can't leave it off on that. Who am I gonna play next? I I think I've played all the char the new characters that I want to play. Um. So I definitely want to play Blackburn, Ellie, Gray, and Lockwood over the next couple of days to weeks or whatever. Maybe Asuna a little bit. Yeah, she's she's in the support category, but she's kind of like a little bit of all three. Or not so much frontline, but you know. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna like Blackburn, Ellie, Lockwood, and maybe some Gray. And then those, those will be my main. And if I absolutely have to, I'll play like Asuna or something. Or maybe a little bit of Bren. But next time specifically, it'll be probably Grey. I'm missing. Like, Grey is like, not only is her design really cool, but I love her kit. It's very unique. It's cool. Can't wait. Not necessarily tomorrow, but whatever. Whenever. Thanks for watching.